advantage. As John O'Grady has put it, and Joe Clancy agreeing, Mancini must get inside and pressure the excellent boxing southpaw from Mexico, Jose Luis Ramirez. And now for the ring introductions, let's join the announcer, Bob Ross. We bring you the main event. Scheduled 12 rounds for the North American Boxing Federation Lightweight Championship. The challenger weighing 133 and a half pounds from Guadalupe, Sonora, Mexico. The lightweight champion of Mexico. Third ranked WBC lightweight. His record. 53 and 2 with 47 knockouts. Jose Luis Ramirez. Ramirez. The champion from Youngstown, Ohio. What's going on, family? I'm Scrapbook Boxing Museum of the Forgotten Fistic of Series. 100 years of world championship fights. And we're looking at Ray Boom Boom Mancini and Jose Luis Ramirez. The fight took place July 19th, 1981. Now, Ray Boom Boom Mancini is to your right. He has on green trunks. He's from Youngtown, Ohio. He is a lightweight, the son of Boom Boom Mancini. Lenny Boom Boom Mancini, who in 1942 had an opportunity to face Sammy Angott but he had to go to the war and lost that opportunity. And his son, Ray Boom Boom Mancini, said that he will win that lightweight championship belt for his dad, and he has done that. Jose Luis Ramirez is now to your right. He has on burgundy trunks. He's a South poor Mexican fighter, had well over 100 fights towards the end of his career. He walked into the ring at this particular night with a record of 53 wins, two losses, and 42 knockouts. As for Ray Boom Boom Mancini, he had a record of 19 and 0 coming into this fight. Seems to be 
Now this fight was for the NABF, the National Boxing Federation. This is number one with Mancini landing the better of the blows. That one sending Ramirez back into the rope. The best punch of that first round. Mancini with a right hand. The first round is usually a field out round, and uh, this one was no different. But the crowd really roared when Mancini just threw a, a small punch, and they didn't do anything when uh, Ramirez threw any kind of punch. Round number two, scheduled for 12, and the 12 round out because it is for the North American Championship. The champion is Ray Mancini, the challenger, Jose Luis Ramirez. Ramirez, however, ranked number three in the world by the WBC. Mancini, number seven. Ramirez has not opened up at all this yet. He hasn't thrown any combination. He hasn't put two hands together. He's really still trying to feel Mancini out and find out just what he has to do. It's typical of an old professional who's been around a long time. Ball and left hand from Mancini, and that blocked Ramirez. It, it sure did. He's hurt right now. That was some left hook. Ramirez never saw it coming. That's why he got hurt so bad with the punch. the manager of Ray Mancini, looking on from the corner. He is framed by Murphy Griffith. And Mancini is beaching in, and I'm surprised that Ramirez hasn't tried to drop that straight left hand on him as yet. Mancini right now seems to be putting the bull on Ramirez. Ramirez, very contained, very stoic appearance in the ring, not unlike his countryman, Tafina Flint. Another left hook from him. Mancini landed. Everybody knows that Mancini is really bleeding now and uh, hasn't been hit on that much. I'm surprised that it's bleeding his body that much. The, the heat from the lights could be added to that uh, good combination by Mancini. It could be adding to the uh, thinness of the blood right now. Combination landed by Mancini seconds ago. It is quite a day for lightweights and Warren. These two in the ring. John O'Grady, the WBA champion, is here with us. Alexis Arguello, the WBC champion in attendance. And the former lightweight champion, Roberto Duran, is also here. Less than a minute to go on round number two. Again, we'd like to alert our stations along the line. At the end of this round, we'll be taking another 30-second station break. Jim Harris has picked up the pace now. He's put a little more snap in his punches, Tim. Side landed to the chin of Mancini. Not a whole lot of sting on it. That's a 30 seconds to go, round two. Mancini is still giving Ramirez a lot of room, even in this second round. He's got to ask you about that, John. He's, he's boxing like he did against uh, Morales. So far, he hasn't tried to get inside. And when he gets uh, Ramirez on the ropes, he, he steps back, lets him off. All right, we'll be back with round three after these words from your local station. Duran here at ringside, and upcoming here on CBS, you'll see his return to the ring after the famous no Moss fight against Sugar Ray Leonard. He'll be meeting Nino Gonzalez at 154 pounds, August 9th, here on CBS. Training nearby Orwell, Ohio, about a 20-minute drive from here. The fight will take place in Cleveland. We round had, number three. We had observed earlier there's no Rosnan in the ring. And Ramirez, the uh, manager, went over to the commission and said, what about Rosnan? He said, my fight is swimming all over the place. Maybe that's one of the things that, that has kept Ramirez from getting off at all. But there isn't any Rosnan here. And that could be a big factor. It's very tough for a guy to fight when he can't get his footing. Hello, Felix is the manager and trainer of Ramirez. A good point about that is that Mancini's got on rubber soles, which do not slip on the canvas. Uh, Exactly the best we've seen in our previous boxing coverage. Hopefully they won't be a factor in the fight. Mancini scoring to the body and then a good right jab. And that's the back to Ramirez. Ramirez has an excellent jab, but so far he's not been able to use it to any real effect. Ramirez's concentration is good. He has very, very good form. Good time. Thank you. 
second rounder against then champion Sammy Angott was promised a title shot, went off to the war, and never received that title opportunity. Ray has promised to win the world championship for Good left hook to the body from Ben Stevens. Quite a family gathering here. Uh, Mancini's grandfather came over and introduced himself to me. He looks younger than you do. <laughs> yes, I agree. Under a minute to go, round three. And again, that nose of Mancini. That nose, blood, bloody nose is bad. They won't stop it on a bloody nose, but uh, it's bad because that blood goes down your throat and uh, you, you have a hard time breathing. Very hard time breathing. And it also goes in your mouth. There's that gap of Ramirez scoring. Well, as, as Sean pointed out, he's staying outside a little too much. He's got to get inside. Final seconds in the third round. This is round number four from Warren, Ohio. We are live with the NADF lightweight championship. Tim Ryan, Gil Clancy, and Sean O'Grady here at ringside. Ray Mancini, the champion, on the left of your screen. Jose Luis Ramirez from Mexico, now on the left of your screen. Mancini has won the first three rounds. The judges, of course, have their own view. They are from Ohio. Billy Tanner and Tony Mariana. The referee, Joey Bishop, will also figure in the scoring on the 10-point punch system. Control. 
And it might be the case here because with Mancini has established his own Mr. Mancini all through the first five rounds. And these fighters feel it made it easy for referee Joey Bishop. Any concern uh, that the Ramirez camp might have had about a local referee so far has been unfounded. Uh, he's been doing a good job. Yes, he has. Anytime you don't see the officials, you know he's doing a good job. He doesn't have to make these guys at all. Look at this action. Mancini landed the combination, but he hasn't appeared to really rock. and trainer of Ramirez must have some concern, but like his fighter, a very stoic appearance. Good left turn by Mancini. One of the reasons that uh, Jose Luis Ramirez has not clinched is because in Mexico, where he's had a lot of his fights, it's against the rules to clinch. Not only is it against the rules, but the fans don't let you out of the arena alive. <laughs> yeah, I think that's more, more, have more influence than the rules does. You come to fight every night down there. Good right hand from Mancini. He's been landing them. He must be a little bit frustrated that there hasn't been more reaction from Ramirez. Apart from seeing his head snap back, he just broke them off and comes right back. Mancini keeps up the pressure here in this fifth round. Chanting 
fighters, obviously, he's throwing punches to the final bell. I'm Scrapbook Boxing Museum of the Forgotten Fist of Series, all great fights and all great fighters will never be forgotten on my channel. 100 years of world championship fights, Ray Dubu, Mancini, and Jose Luis Ramirez. 